Federal agents say the daughter of Mexican drug lord El Chapo Guzman has given no information which could lead to her father's capture. Border agents busted Guzman's 31-year-old pregnant daughter at the San Ysidro port of entry, trying to use a fake passport to get into the U.S. 10 News reporter Dan Haggerty is joining us now live from the Embarcadero. And Dan, we know that she told the agents that she wanted her baby to be born in the U.S. Yeah, that's what it says in these documents. Got these from the U.S. Attorney's Office. I also asked them where she was being jailed tonight. They said, no way. They can't tell us for her safety and for the people guarding her. Federal documents say Alejandrina Guzman Salazar tried to cross the border to give birth to her baby in Los Angeles, effectively making the grandchild of one of the world's most wanted criminals, Joaquin Guzman, a U.S. citizen. I mean, I think it's unfortunately outrageous that that uh, anybody uh, would come to the country for that reason. Former U.S. Attorney Pete Nunez has always been outspoken and against the U.S. policy that allows for anchor babies. Hundreds of thousands of children are born U.S. citizens to illegal immigrants every year. In fact, last year, Guzman's wife, Emma Cornell, who held U.S. citizenship, traveled to L.A. to give birth to their twin girls. It's another just one more sign of how uh, dysfunctional and, and um, chaotic our immigration system is. Regardless of the policy debate, the feds want Guzman, however they can get him, accused of more charges than we can list, including multiple counts of murder and running a billion-dollar cocaine business. He broke out of prison in the 90s and has been labeled with a $5 million price tag for his arrest ever since. But with his daughter behind American bars, they're hoping to get him for free. And again, his daughter is behind bars in San Diego somewhere tonight in a secret location. She was denied any type of bail or bond. The judge is afraid that she'll run back into Mexico. And investigators told the Associated Press so far she has been a dead end as far as helping them with the search for her father. Reporting live tonight, I'm Dan Haggerty, 10 News.